These are the MSR EVO Ascent Snowshoes and today I'm going to give you five reasons why I think they might be the best snowshoes for your next adventure. Reason number one, their profile. They have a really sleek and small profile that allows you to pack them and strap them on the outside of your pack super easily without them being cumbersome. But at the same time, somehow they manage to keep you on top of the snow. I walk around at 180 pounds usually, plus if I go winter backpacking, I often bring 40 to 50 pounds on my back. And somehow, even though they're super small, they manage to keep me on top of the snow. Their slim profile also allows you to walk in a very ergonomic way. I've had in the past snowshoes that were way too wide, making me have to step my feet really far apart from each other. And if you're not used to that, you might develop some groin pain, some hip pain. Compared to these, you can literally walk the same way you would usually without having to spread your legs apart, making it extremely comfortable to hike around. This design, in my opinion, is the perfect snowshoe for established trails, whether you wanna go on local trails or you wanna go peak bagging in the Adirondacks or in the White Mountains. They are the perfect size to get you around very fast and efficiently. And if you're looking to cross some open patches of field and even some lakes, I know that in previous videos I've said that the tails were not super great for these snowshoes, but honestly, I don't know why I said this because I spent all of last winter crossing lakes with these and open fields and I added them and I really put these tails to the test and they are fantastic. If you know that you're, there was just a fresh dump of snow and you, you're gonna need more surface so you can float a bit more, all you gotta do is attach these at the back. They don't add a ton of weight and they are fantastic to help you cross the sections where the snow might be a bit deeper. Reason number two is their binding system. One of the things that I really appreciate about this binding system is that it allows you to strap many kinds of footwears to it. I've seen people using trail runners when it wasn't too cold outside, but they just wanted to float a bit on top of the snow. I've used them myself with regular hiking boots, or even when I go out in the Adirondacks Mountain or in the White Mountains in the Northeast, I like to bring my big mountaineering boots and this binding will really accommodate my really big hard shell mountaineering boots because when you go out on some of the higher peaks up there, there's going to be a section where you're going to want to use snowshoes and in a lot of cases you don't have a choice. It's the rules of the, of the trail so you don't destroy the trails. But then you get on the ridges and where the trees aren't anymore and you really want to switch these for your real mountaineer and crampons so that you don't slide off the mountain. And this snowshoe allows me to wear my really nice mountaineering boots and when I get on top of the mountain, I can just swap them. Also for the binding system, it's got three straps on the top, one at the back. What this allows you to do is find the perfect pressure on your boot so that you don't cut your circulation. Having multiple straps like this really allows you to dial this in properly. I've suffered a severe frostbite in six of my 10 toes a number of years ago. And for me, any kind of pressure on my boot that cuts the circulation to my feet is deadly uh, in the winter time now. I have to be extremely careful and because this binding has so many options for me to dial in them properly, I can really feel secure in the snowshoe without cutting my circulation. And lastly, the fact that you have three straps and a fourth one at the back, they're all interchangeable. So if ever you were to snap a, a strap, instead of having to change your entire binding, you can just buy new straps from MSR directly. And if you're on a trip and this happens to you because you know at some point gear is bound to fail, you can basically just relace these and use them to make them work for the remaining of your trip. And then when you get home, just purchase the strap. Reason number three is their very aggressive crampon system. In my opinion, the best in the market. And crampons are really good obviously for ice, but they're also very useful for packed snow to help you travel forward. You see here, these two rails here are super aggressive sets of crampons that allows you to really bite in the snow or on the ice. And these crossbars here does the same thing for in the snow when you put your feet and you've got another set of crampon right up here that just allows you to bite right in the mountain face. All of this is super useful on snow so that every time you step forward, you don't kick back and lose an inch or an half an inch or whatever it might be. Imagine when you go walking after a big so snowstorm and you go on the sidewalks, they haven't been plowed yet. It's super frustrating because every step you take, you're kind of spinning on the spot. This system here prevents that completely and just really allows you to bite really strong in the snow. 
as you're walking. Believe me, when you go out in the trails, this crampon system here will just save so much of your energy. And also, of course, on the ice, they just really bite to the ice like crazy. I'm on my back pond right now. And when you walk with these on the ice, you can be sure to not slip. These crampons, I swear by them. I've climbed Mount Washington in these uh, before I even had mountaineering crampons and were, was very surprised at how sturdy they were at crossing big ice patches. Reason number four and probably one of the most valuable feature that you can have on a snowshoe nowadays is this little thing right here. This is called an elevator system and it is so valuable for when you're climbing really steep terrain. What this allows is for your foot to feel more level when you're going in a really, really steep terrain, relieving a lot, a lot of pressure in your calf. This will make you so much more efficient at climbing peaks or even if you go into your local trails and there are steep sections of it, all you have to do honestly is you take two seconds to kneel down, you pop these up and off you go in the mountains and it levels out your foot in a way that makes it so much more comfortable and really saves a lot of your energy on your hikes. A word of caution though, it is a little bit annoying to have to prop up and push down and I've done the mistake in the past of leaving it up while I had to go a little bit downhill <laughs> it is not recommended. Make sure you take the time. These are designed so that you can take your poles and basically push them back without you having to bend down. So make sure to use it because it will feel like you're walking downhill with heels on and it is super dangerous, especially with such a strong crampon system for you to get caught and basically fall forward. Reason number five now why the MSR Evo Ascent is probably the best snowshoe on the market is for their durability. I purchased my first pair of MSR Evo like 14 years ago and that was before the Ascent version came along. And the Ascent version is essentially the fact that it has these elevator system that I just showed you. This snowshoe is gone, has been on so many hikes, so many backpacking trip and winter camping trip with me and it is still strong. For a piece of gear to be able to last for this long, for me, I value durability a lot. To minimize the waste but also to save some money in my pockets. They still sell out there the MSR Evo. Make sure you get the MSR Evo Ascent. It'll come with the elevators here. If you're interested in those snowshoes, I'll leave a link in the description below. As well, if you're really hoping to get started in winter camping, I put together 31 short videos with 31 winter camping tips that I'll leave right up here to make sure to go check this out and otherwise I will see you as always in the next video. Peace!